work? Well, we sent reporter Alex Tarney to undergo a hypnotherapy session to find out. It's a strange thing to be hypnotised, isn't it? You sort of know what you're doing, but you can't stop yourself. Yeah. But you're wide awake now. Yep. Good, I'm glad to see you wide awake. When most of us think of hypnosis, we picture the crazy antics of people under the control of stage hypnotists like Martin St James. The stage hypnotists have to do something, otherwise they don't earn any money. Some of the people they get up on the stage are probably very good at hypnotic subjects, and a lot of stage hypnotists are very good at assessing people very quickly. But in many cases, I, I believe that what you see is not always what is being purported. Unlike Martin St James, clinical hypnotherapist Dr Leonard Rose doesn't ask his patients to embarrass themselves while under hypnosis. He uses the process to help control pain and to treat conditions including asthma, anxiety and migraine. In most cases, when we do hypnosis therapeutically, it's a very boring process. Nothing seems to be happening because it's all happening within the person who's being hypnotised. Close your eyes. Start to focus on your breathing. To experience it for myself, I asked Dr Rose to put me under hypnosis. The fingers starting to move. Sorry, do I have to like really want to sort of make it move or does it... Well, it's Sorry. up to you. It's up to you. Look, mm -hmm. It's entirely up to mm. you. After three unsuccessful attempts, eventually I was able to experience a light hypnosis, although I wasn't able to respond to suggestions. Let yourself go deeper and deeper into relaxation. Under hypnosis, I felt extremely relaxed, as though I was floating. Most people will know when they come out of a hypnotic state or a hypnotic experience that they have been hypnotised because it's not simply a question of at the end of the session you open your eyes and you're bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and ready for anything. In most cases a person takes a little while to sort of settle back. They sort of, they're somewhere else for a while. So Alex, in a short time, at a time of your own choice, you're going to bring yourself back to a normal state of alertness, all sensations and feelings back to normal. Your normal sense of time and place returns. <laughs> was I supposed to wake up then? You were. Did I do anything? <laughs> we didn't ask you to do oh. anything. So. <laughs> we allow this state to give us access to sort of some of the more primitive processes of thought and that allows us to accept suggestions more readily, to go along with uh, suggestions and images which we mightn't do in ordinary life. Sleep now. I was actually quite sceptical. So why did you come here? Um, basically, allow us to respond to suggestions in an appropriate way. These suggestions can be used to assist us to decrease anxiety, to focus on, uh, on the more positive aspects of a person's uh, life and behaviours. I know that it's made a difference to me. I've seen lots of Bridget McPhee was once too. crippled by fear. Since childhood, she'd experienced chronic panic attacks, which had stopped her from living life to the full. After just three sessions of hypnosis, Bridget's panic attacks have disappeared. It just gave me back control of my, my reactions and my thoughts and my feelings. And as this hand falls, you go five times deeper. When a person's in hypnosis, we do little tests um, called eyelid catalepsy and um, arm catalepsy, testing for muscle tone so that the person knows that they're in hypnosis. I know that they're in hypnosis, but they need to prove it to themselves by uh, simply being unable to open their eyes. And once they accept, oh, I'm in hypnosis, then the rest of the process is easy. Panic attacks behind her. Bridget because now hopes hypnosis will conquer her fear of public fear. speaking. But they all admit... ...is safe when used by trained professionals. But in the wrong hands, it can be dangerous people who believe for some reason that hypnosis is going to give them power over women or power over other people, that somehow or other they are going to be able to make a difference because they have the power to be a hypnotist. Um, and we're very concerned about that um, because we believe that hypnosis is safe, but the therapists are not always safe. 
Alex Tani reporting there on the powers of hypnotism. Meditation can be to combat stress and illness. And these days it's a mind game that's widely accepted by the medical community and in part two we sample the various meditation techniques. So now we're ready to put the glasses on. At a very early age I developed a rather rare form of arthritis which causes my joints to disintegrate and swell. So I've had chronic pain virtually for 35 years. Selena Rose found a different form of meditation called the light and sound machine. This is like the instant coffee of meditation. You don't have to have the discipline. You don't have to put in the hours. You just simply put on the machine and away you go. Can you describe how it took away the pain? Because the experience is all enveloping, you see beautiful bright colours through the diodes behind the glasses and you can put your favourite music onto the earphones. Um, your mind is so caught up in the colour and the movement and the sound that you really can't think about anything else and it alters brain brainwave activity so that you relax so all of that helps to ease pain levels. What the glasses do is that they simulate the natural brain activity. For example, in a relaxed state, our brain activity runs at between about 8 and 12 hertz. So the unit runs at something like 8 to 12 hertz, and then after a little while begins to slow down. So it slows you down? And that slows us down, brings us down into a nice relaxed state. Noel Weaver is a psychologist at a pain management clinic. He says the light and sound machine can help people with a number of different illnesses. People who are, are suffering anxiety and may have tried other forms of relaxation and haven't been able to, to get much success often find that the sound and light can um, be just the thing they're looking for. This is a very pleasant way to um, give myself some pain-free time. I had breast cancer. Hypnotism, it's far more than the ability to make people strut around on stage doing outrageous things. The power 